I have used several document scanners and in this video I'm going to talk about my 5 favorite free scanner apps for Android. So let's begin. The app that I'm using now is Adobe Scan. It's the best among all if you want to scan, share and print documents. We need an Adobe account but it has the options we don't find anywhere else. We have different scanning options and the documents are scanned automatically. It uses amazing technology to brighten the low light scans. We have this cleanup option that removes any unwanted stuff and fills the scan with the background. It works wonders as we can remove anything we like from the document. Then is this resize. Sometimes scans are not properly sized and the hard print doesn't come out good. This resize lets you set the exact size of the page. Then you can print the size you want. Because we are logged in, the documents are saved online to access on other platforms. We can also share the document link or send a copy of it. Saving a local copy is also possible. Adobe Scan is a complete set making it easier, at least for me, to scan documents. The second app is actually inside another app, which is pre-installed on Android. If you use Google Drive, you must have seen this camera option. Click it and let the camera take a photo. It's not the best but because it's efficient and completely free, you don't need to install a different app. After scanning, you can crop and rotate the document, scan more pages, apply filters, etc. This app also has the cleanup feature that we saw in Adobe Scan but it only lets you choose a background color to fill. When ready, tap here and set the name, format and location. We have the scan document. The only problem with the Google Drive is that you need to have a Google account and the documents are saved online which can be downloaded at any time. Another app I have used before and still is a free scanning app is Genius Scan. The app has improved in finding the documents and cropping them. It is slightly faster than Google Drive and Adobe Scan if you scan multiple pages. It will scan a page and open the camera to scan the following page. The document editor has rotate, crop, resize, filters and this threatened option to help you edit the way you want. We can still apply the filters and edit it later. Tap share to share it as a PDF or JPEG. We can adjust the scan quality before saving it. The next is Microsoft Lens. I used to use it but because Adobe Scan has a cleanup and page resize, I switched. Still Microsoft Lens is powered by Microsoft and is connected with OneDrive, Word and PowerPoint to let you export in those apps for free. It has a few AI features to translate text, get business card details, read aloud and scan QR codes. We can also scan whiteboards, business cards and photos. Once you have the nice scanned and filtered document, choose the format to export to. It can export to multiple formats at the same time, so you can pick both local and cloud to access files on your PC. Like the rest, we can pick an image to scan and edit. The last one I have used is VFlat Scan. This app has limited options as we can create up to 10 PDFs per month. But it has some amazing free options such as Google Translate, Document Cleanup and creating text to copy the text from the document. From scanning to exporting, it only requires 3 clicks which is pretty fast. I don't use VFlat very often as I use Adobe Scan and Storage. But if you are in need of an offline scanning app and you don't scan quite regularly, this will be the app I will suggest. VFlat Scan doesn't show any ads which is another benefit of using it. Scanner apps have made it possible to ditch physical scanners. These were those fast and efficient apps. I hope the video helped. See you in the next one. Take care.